Jeez. The concept of doing it, doing it, that's a whole different discussion as far as I'm concerned. Which means reluctance to move on this one until we figure that out. No, we'll put them on. If we move it. It's essentially a, a renewed policy or something. If we move it. Or eight should be over there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think it was seven. Uh, there it is. Yeah. 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 How long are they going to sit on that thing? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's touch screen. Right, we're not talking about getting one of the average of the RFP. Right. right. Before we even, like John said, before we even agree on the concept. That's, that's what they're right. I, I thought it was a concept <laughs> talk tonight. Right. right. But it kind of went to the RFP. It went everywhere. Log in. That's what everywhere. Here. To. Oh. Are you That's what you want to mean. You need to well, it's not touch. It's not touch. Going right back to where. <laughs> where does it say that? Doing what we should have done today. <laughs> where, where, where does it say that? I know. Oh. Where does it say yes, that? Yes, that would be bad. Log in right now. Not to mention. I said it. Go to Rob Soda Town. Whoa. Back to Rob. Log in. They have to log in. Okay. You should log in. You're the one that. Um. Everybody should log in if they haven't. Oh golly. You're in. Am I in? You're in. Am I? Oh wow! Look at your that. Pretty good. How'd I do that? I don't know. Without doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> I was pre-logged in. You did it when you first. Tom, we have the easy job. We just. I don't think so. I I, it was on. It was just like that. Maybe he did it for you. <laughs> John? John. No. Jake. Oh, Jake. Did, Shouldn't yeah. it be connected? Shouldn't it be connected? Yeah, it says connected. Oh, I thought. I thought it corrupted it up or something. It looks like it's grayed out. Okay, so they're good. Okay. We're going to roll. Okay, I, but I can call the meeting to order now? Yes. Okay, I'm going to call the Common Council meeting to order Tuesday, March 12th, 2019 at 6.12 p.m. <laughs> um, we we're going to do roll call. So mark yourself present. And we have a quorum. Everyone is present. Voting on it. it hasn't even been announced. I don't know. What are you guys voting? Voted no. <laughs> <laughs> You're voting. You don't want to have the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> We're not voting. <laughs> Let's do a oh, that's salary. consent agenda. You can leave that because that will be the next thing we vote on. You can leave it. Make a motion but and read it. Wait, we have to do a uh, um, statement of public notice. This meeting was noticed in accordance with the open meeting law. I have no uh, communications this evening. Um, there is no public comment. So now, consent agenda. Do you want me to read Approval it? of okay. operator licenses, approval of common council minutes for February 26th, 2019. <coughs> Resolution 22, 2019. <coughs> approval of Muskego Athletic Association slash Muskego Storm and Muskego <coughs> Warriors Youth Baseball and City of Muskego Lease Agreement for Park Arthur Pavilion. Okay, let me let me ask a question before we. We no, we have to have a motion unless you're pulling something out. That's you're pulling it out. There's no way to pull it out. That's why last time I waited till everything was was a motion. Yeah. And then I pulled it out. And you okay. Said we you did it okay. last time. I know so, somehow. So you want to pull out the pavilion? I take it. Right. Number uh, twenty-two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know how we. Well, my mic's off. I don't know how we pull these out. Off the computer, so I guess there's no way to do that. Be quick your hand <laughs> we can do it the old-fashioned way. No, she only has the ability to do that. Unless we we motion it and we amend it to pull it out. Is that? Well, how she's we pulling that? it out right now, and then we'll motion for the rest of it as soon as she's ready. But I'm saying if we do it on the computer, we could just amend the motion to pull that out and then go back in. I don't think. I don't think I don't so. I you. think we have to do it from here. Wait, do you want to pull something out? I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. We could have been home already if it wasn't for me. That's not the biggest thing after Yeah, that's not the way it's set up. Oh. I have to get Jake. No NCAA yet, is it? That's tomorrow, right? Or is that, is that tomorrow? No, it's 
Or is that next so Tuesday? Selection is Monday or Sunday. We have so Sunday. it's next Tuesday. We need to find a simple way out. to do this. Kept <laughs> all this <laughs> new stuff. And I don't it know used to be I'm easier. Yeah. 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 We'd be out here. I'm lost. I was going all weekend. Yeah. Good. What's going on? Are they? Yeah. I have a thought for the future no, that we we'll talk about tomorrow. Merger of equals with Chemical Bay. This is just getting a new operator. <laughs> no, it's a merger. I think a merger of we should list them all separately. Uh, so you're taking something. One, so this he wants to take. Right, he wants to take this out. Minneapolis. Okay. So I thought I took it out. One place. Yeah. Way too much. <laughs> It doesn't really affect me at all. And the only reason for it is this nice place to have. That's the only reason. You know, Minneapolis is a corporate headquarters of a lot of places. Detroit must be giving a fortune. Because we've got a couple of Okay. All right. So I'm looking. If she took that one out, then you're just voting on it, right? Okay. You're still on consent. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm looking for a motion for <laughs> consent agenda items. Um, it's just for the operator licenses and the council minutes of February 26th because the resolution 22 has pulled out. We have to change the computer. I need a motion. No. Oh, we do? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's got it. You've got it. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Please cast your vote. There's nothing on there to vote. And those con two consent agenda items are approved unanimously. Then we have consent agenda item of resolution 22, 2019. And this again is the approval of the Muskego Athletic Association, Muskego Storm and Muskego Warriors Youth Baseball and City of Muskego Lease Agreement for Park Arthur Pavilion. Okay, so we, ne we need a motion we'll first. A second. Oh. And then we can discuss. Got it. Okay, and we do have a motion and a second. Now, hit your request to speak because then it shows up in the minutes. Okay, Alderman Wolf. <laughs> okay, since I pulled it off, I just want to bring up what we talked about at the council meeting. Um, I have no problem with the agreement. I just have to, I, I, I was looking for consistency between the agreements uh, that we have out there and looking for direction and, and comments from everybody else. You all heard it. <laughs> um, Alderman Hamill? I think we have to make sure we are consistent with those. You know, they both basically have storage. They're used for storage, right? And they're used, they're used for storage year-round. So they should be treated the same. If they're renting the park for a week or something, that, that would be different, I think. But I think as a storage facility, that needs to be, you know, we need to make sure we're consistent. So there, as far as I'm concerned, they're used for storage, and they're used year-round, and that's how they should be viewed. I mean, I have no problem with it being seated. Oh, sorry. I can't push for a second. You're, you're okay. Um, I have no problem with seasonal either, up and down. If we want to keep it seasonal for, for one and make it seasonal for the other, it, it, it's it, not a big deal. Let's just make it the same. Yeah. Alderman Madden? I have no problem with being consistent either. I think it's a great idea. I think the problem comes in if you, um, it's like renting a Cadillac fully loaded or renting a Cadillac that's just stock. You know, there's difference. It's not everything is equal. So it's kind of hard to, to say everything is going to be a flat all the way across the board. They're just differences and we have to consider them. Well, my point was the seasonal is less seasonal for one than the other. What, what we were doing with that, what we were doing, what we were doing when we, when we talked um, about... Oh, yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Yes. Alderman yes. Englehart, you did put... Go ahead. Originally, I mean, was that we were trying to get everything equal. That's, you know, and, and this was one thing that we didn't talk about. We talked about getting the, the gun club building and all that equal and having values assigned and for some reason this one got put by the wayside and we didn't we didn't calculate a, 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 a fair price per square foot which is I guess what we did on the others so it's we, we skipped a step here and we're stumbling over that step now because we didn't talk about it in the past and this one was never assigned a value 
Well, actually, if I could jump in, um, the fairness, it, um, the equal treatment, you guys abandoned early on because the staff brought you everything and you determined the rent equal for everybody and it was implemented for the water bugs and then the festival, you significantly reduced it. You already have a disparity. So you created that and then now this one and I, I, I know they're working up to something and they use it differently. So. And, and the reason we did that was because I felt that I brought up my opinion was that the festival committee is more of a community value and I think even the uh, MAA with the use of the park is more of a community value as well. Um, it, not as much as I, I was when I was talking my community values were more the senior taxi and the uh, uh, festival committee were more on the, on the same page with that in my opinion. Um, and, and that was kind of where we, we left it at that. That's why we did what we did. And, and I was trying to separate um, a community value versus a business, a profitable for profit business. Again, we're back to that again. So we're trying to create these fine lines in these conversations. So um, I think that's why we abandoned some of that. But I think we need to keep this separate between a for profit business and a non profit business. I think we need to keep some type of separation there on these issues here uh, for the ones that are in front of us. And I think um, uh, the community value of the festival <coughs> committee is where I'm bringing this back to life here. So. And you did discount that. Uh, Alderman Capusta? It's gotten, Tammy. I was wondering if you can help me out. Uh, do we have this many differentiations in all our contracts with this stuff? It, it, it just seems to be that there's a bunch of items on the floor, and I'm not understanding all of these these issues. Or the or are our contracts really consistent with one another? Uh, can I rattle them off? Absolutely. You can come, yeah, there's the. Um, and that's okay, right? Yeah. Well, let, we well can't, I think we I think can't we really discuss that. them. Yeah, I well, think we, we should skip that. They're yeah. all. Um, I'm going to repeat what okay. I just said a minute ago. It was months ago. I don't even remember when. It's been a, quite a while, maybe you know, almost a year ago. Staff brought forward every single one of the lease agreements that are out there, for, or all the leased properties. And they gave you the um, going rate for rental places and a range, because everybody charges a little something different in their facilities. You chose to go with the lowest one, which was reasonable, um, for every single one. And so the staff produced that to you, and then when um, the water bugs came forward, you approved it, and then when the festival one came on, you reduced it, cut it in half from that, and then oh, there's this one. So if there's any disparity, it's created by the council. There's no disparity otherwise. Okay, so what was the value we assigned to this, this area at Park Arthur? Five hundred dollars because it's seasonal and non-seasonal. Seventy-five dollars and then twenty-five dollars off-season. <clears throat> so why is it five hundred? So I just want to clarify. Seven and five, seven, <coughs> seven, seven months, five uh, months. You're not on. Yep, you're, you're on. live. You're on. You're live. Is she on? Uh, no, you're not. No. <laughs> <laughs> or you're not taught something. You need to right. shout. <laughs> Batteries. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The battery died. Those die all the time. Do we have another one? He usually gives yeah. me two. It's in the back, I think. Yeah, oh, we have another battery right here. Scott. How long does it take, Scott? One or two. We this is all just new modern stuff. We didn't have this the last place, did we? So does it have to be turned on by Jill? <laughs> I think, I, let's hope not. Yeah, no, I think it does. <laughs> no, there you go. There you it's go. It's working. It's working. There you go. We got another one. Oh, we got another one. Hello. Yeah. Go. Okay. Go. So I just want to clarify that the agreement that's before you for the MAA storm shelter usage is $75 for their in-season use. Should they choose to keep their two refrigerator items in there, they would pay $25. They most likely will choose not to and just pay the $75 for the three months that they're using it. It's different than the festival who leave their things in there year-round. And we and have, a lot of again, things. zero access to that space. Should we enter that space, they become very upset about it. Whereas we've had tournaments at Park Arthur, and we've allowed those other vendors to sell concessions out of that space with the agreement of the MAA and the storm. They have not allowed the people to use their equipment, but they allow them to open up the windows. So we still are able to access that space and use it regularly 
but the difference is it's, it's a, not exclusive use. Correct. Is, so you, you, that's a benefit. The, the city can move on that little. Sure. Alderman Wolf. Right. I so they can just come and go when they, when they want because they can just pick that out for three months and then they shoot everybody, everybody else out. So again, we're losing the consistency again. So um, they're not shutting people out. Other people can use it. There is a tournament in July that's a girls tournament that plays there and they use that space. And they use their refrigerators and everything? Yes. They, they put stuff in the freezer, but they don't use like their pizza oven and like the small ticket items that those organizations own. So it's just not exclusive. I'm just trying to refine the discussion. I think what Alderman Borgman's asking, I don't want to put words in your mouth, how did they come up with the $75 number? I think that's what you're asking. Yes. So can we answer that? I went with the $75 that the committee had chose to use for the other nonprofit groups within the community. But then that's a yearly the fee, though. That was, that was, that was, Consistent. But that was based on a yearly fee. That's how we did it. That's how they got that fee. We reduced that for a yearly fee. We didn't reduce it to be used for other people. So now we're in a whole other can of worms. So we're, we're, we're more inconsistent than ever now. So not anybody's fault. I'm, I'm just saying we, we just got to be consistent on this. I just, I, I look at seasonal and non-seasonal, and, and that's my hang-up is that, and, and as you guys know, I voted no last time for the contract for the festival committee uh, because of the charge. So I'm hammering it home. So I, I, I think we're looking at seasonal and non-seasonal, you know. I have no problem. Alderman Kubaki? Uh, he changed your mind. Confused past. He changed his <laughs> mind. You can't okay. do that. Once you go on here, you... <laughs> no, he did. He said pass. Just oh. vote. <laughs> okay, any other discussion? <clears throat> okay, please cast your vote. Approved unanimously. Okay, new business. Resolution 21, 2019. Oh, if you're ready. <laughs> um, resolution authorizing the redemption of water system revenue refunding bonds dated November 8th, 2011. We have a motion and a second. Any requests to speak? Okay, please cast your vote. Approved unanimously. Review of committee reports. Do you want me to do that? Or? Finance Committee, January 22nd. Plan Commission, February 5th. And then voucher approval. Motion to approve utility vouchers the amount of $31,417.21. And we have a second. Uh, any request to speak? Please cast your vote. Approved unanimously. Utility vouchers. Oh, I said it before it was up, huh? <laughs> or not? Okay, so there are no tax vouchers. Motion to approve total. Fund uh, to, uh, general fund vouchers the amount of three hundred forty-eight thousand two hundred one dollars and fifty-eight cents. And we have a second. Any request to speak? Please cast your vote. Approved unanimously. Motion to approve wire transfers in the amount of four hundred forty-four thousand two hundred seventeen dollars and three cents. A second, we have any requests to speak? Please cast your vote. <laughs> Proved unanimously. City official reports, none this evening or communications or other miscellaneous business other than any updates from any of the committees on the list? Uh, or liaisons, liaisons, city liaisons? I, I'll, I'll speak for the senior taxi. We did. Um, just over 20 rides today. Um, off a little bit um, because of the a season. It's a seasonally adjusted off a little bit. The seniors seem to 
shun the cold weather a little bit, so we're down a little bit on the volume. But we had just over 20 rides today, and um, we've got all five cars on the road most days now. Any of the others? Little Muskego had their, uh, Lake, Lake District had their meeting last week, um, working with the uh, update on the, um, I forget what it's called, the sewer pack plan Sorry. that they uh, need to submit in order to be in order to uh, make the request for uh, weed control and so forth. It's a lot of discussion because last year was very unique after the extended drawdown. No idea what's going to happen now in the second year after the extended drawdown. So uh, really uncertain what, what kind of thing to look forward to as far as uh, weed control on the lake this year. Don't know. <laughs> and uh, I guess that's main highlights to share right now. Thank you. Any others? I'd just like to make a comment. When John speaking, it said discussing Alderman Madden. <clears throat> After earlier, it off, now it's do what earlier? Just now, when well, it doesn't talking. have to. It, it just changed, but it was. Did, did he have to press to do show, that? No, no, because there's that, no vote. That was there was nothing there's that no was vote. hanging out there from before, I think, or something. I don't know. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> yeah, because these are not action. These there's no actionable no, items. No so. <laughs> Okay, if nothing else, uh, any future agenda items or reconsiderations? I know. You're up again. Mm -hmm. Is there a motion? We need a motion to uh, adjourn. Motion to adjourn. <coughs> Do it on the system, Alderman Moore. <laughs> you got to press the. Did you? You didn't do it through. It's the board. not there. I just want to share. You got discussing for it's future agenda well. items. <laughs> okay. There we go. There we go. We have a motion and a second. That's fast. Um, please cast your vote. That's an easy one. Wow. Oh. It's unanimous. We are adjourned. Okay. Uh, so we meetings. Incredible. We can get through them one evening. We all done. Yeah, right. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>